I am Will Brock. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Will Somsuch. Uh. <laughs> so, tell us about the production on this record, and then I'll tell you about my vocals. <laughs> Tell you about what I was thinking about when I wrote the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hi, I'm, I'm Will Sumsuch. And I am Will Brock. And we have made a couple of albums together on BBE. We've done some releases on Colour and Pitch. In fact, we did the first ever release on Colour and Pitch together before we met in person. I didn't know that was the first re release on the, on the label? It was. Yeah, yeah. Simpatico, wow, it was called. Cool. Yeah, 2013 was the first tune we made together, right? Before, yeah, before I came over there and met you. Yep. So yeah, we've been making music together for a while. Yeah. And I thought it'd be nice because we can't do this in person. It'd be nice to just talk a little bit about our new single, "There Comes a Time," which is mm. out this Friday. Yes. And it's lovely. It is. It is. It's a beautiful record. It's a beautiful record, and it's it's the music is amazing. It, it's and and the lyrics just kind of float over top of it in a, in a way that that settles really well in your spirit. But I think the lyrics have like the thing I like about it is it's yeah it's a very smooth. It's I mean in the grand tradition of of soul music, like it's very smooth and it's very warm and very lovely, but it's got some real depth of feeling behind it. Sure. So yeah, could we just talk a little bit about um, about the space you were in when you wrote the lyrics and kind of how you responded to the, to the track when I sent it over? Yeah, so I mean, as is apparent, if you're watching life in America in particular, you know, I'm angry about, about things you know what i mean and and so when i'm when i'm when i'm tasked with writing a song and not given any criteria and then driven by that track in particular that's going to come out you know what i mean the anger and the frustration and the and the lack of humanity is going to come out and 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 it did and it and it came out in a way i think in the first draft that was aggressive and because that's how I was feeling. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and and it's, but it was still beautiful, I think. You know what I mean? It was still, you know, a lovely record. It was just like, ooh, that, that. Like you, the way you responded was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be okay. And 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 I understand that because you know it's, it, it's 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 the rawness of my feet of my feelings were all there to show on the record. But but what we what we ended up with I think still said those things but it's it's is I think it's more beautiful. I think it's more it's it's easier to digest. And you know, that's I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I feel like the message is the message is in there, um, you know, it's, and it's a powerful message. You know, that that hook that we've we've ended up basically putting right at the end of the, the record that we declare that you no longer have the right to steal our joy is, you know, it's a it's a really powerful message. And, you know, when I when it first when when you first sent the, the first draft of the, the vocals back, I was just blown away by that because. In fact, what you just said, I think, is important because classic soul records are you know they're beautiful you can dance to them the, the instrument instrumentation is lush it's comforting very often the lyrics are when you really listen to them they're about quite challenging heartbreaking right. subjects even disco exactly. records you know absolutely yeah and yeah, I kind of like, feel like maybe that's lost a bit at the moment like people have kind of made this binary choice of like either it has to be a sad song or a happy song or it has to be an angry song and if it's going to be an angry song, it should sound angry. Right. You know, or it should be a particularly, you know, it's almost like we've got angry genres now, you know, specific right. genres for angry people. And, you know, if you're going to make a, a folk record or a, a deep house record, you'd better just be talking about very, very happy, smiley, fluffy things. Right, right. It's, 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 it's interesting, man. I hadn't thought about this, but, 
But when you said it, it, it just just kind of struck a chord because the, those records of the early '70s to the mid mid '80s were just a beautiful, but b challenging. Mm. You know what I mean? It and 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 it made it so that listeners could choose to be informed, could choose to be aware. You know what I mean? And that's that's very, very lost right now because, the, you know, the culture doesn't allow for that. Mm. And I think independent music has a responsibility to be that. I think that's a beautiful way of putting it. And I think it's a nice way to, uh, to end. So there comes a time our new single is out this Friday or now, depending on when you're watching this video. <laughs> Um, you can get it on all the usual digital platforms and Spotify, etc. And hope you enjoy it. We've got lots more to come very soon. Indeed. Let's Indeed. do this again soon, Will. All right, man. Talk to you soon.